this is the experimental setup used for the AGMD study a revolution water pump with a 12 volt DC and 7.5 amperes rating and a maximum flow of 3 gallons per minute is used to circulate the saline water through the AGMD module the flow is kept constant at 2 liters per minute by controlling the input current to the pump. A 5 volt DC fan is used to pull the condensing plate. Thermocouples are used to measure the saline temperature at inlet and outlet and the condensing plate temperature. The saline water enters the AGMD unit through the tube on the top right and exits through the tube on the bottom left. The clean water drips down the module through the funnel into the condensate tank. We can see that there is a small amount of water collected in the condensate tank and there are drops dripping through the funnel. Water is kept in the hot reservoir and its temperature is maintained in the range of plus minus 0.2 degrees Celsius of the specified temperature. An immersion water heater is used to heat the water a thermostat based heating controller is used to keep the water temperature at the desired level. A thermostat based Heating controller is used to keep the water temperature at the desired level. As we can see from the reading on the scale, the desired water temperature for this trial is 60 degrees Celsius and the current water temperature is 60.2 degrees Celsius. This is the computer screen where we can see the readings for the temperatures. The blue line shows the saline temperature and the red line shows the black plate temperature. The blue line hovers around 60 degrees centigrade and the red line is at about 42.5 degrees centigrade. The difference between the two shows the delta T which is the difference between the hot side and the cold side temperature. The exploded CAD drawing shows the AGMD module. It consists of saline channel, membrane, support mesh, air gap and the condensing plate. A teflon membrane with polypropylene support structure is used. It has a pore size of 45 micron and thickness in the range of 160 to 230 microns. Support mesh of different materials with different thermal conductivities have been used namely plastic, steel, aluminium and copper. Air gap is kept in the range of 0.7 to 5 millimeters. A copper condensing plate is used. We have also used copper plate with hydrophobic coating for some of the trials. Water which condenses on the copper plate is allowed to drip down in the condensate tank. In this trial, the air gap was 5 millimeters, the mesh was normal copper and the condensing surface was normal copper and the experiment was at 60 degrees saline feed temperature. We received uh, about 22.5 milliliters of condensate in one hour. These are the four different support meshes we have used in our experiments. The one on the top left is copper, the one on the top right is steel, on the bottom left is aluminium and one on the bottom right is plastic. 
this is the hydrophobic copper mesh we have used in some of the experiments. This is the hydrophobic copper plate we have used to show the effect of hydrophobicity on the condensate flux for the AGMD experiments. This is a sample of water from the hot reservoir. It has impurities of about 140 parts per million. Now the scale is showing the conductivity and it is 268 microsiemens per centimeter. This is the sample of water collected in the condensate tank. It had impurities of about 7 parts per million and conductivity of about 14 microsiemens per centimeter. Now it is showing the conductivity as 14 microsiemens per centimeter. This is a sample of drinking water collected from the water fountain. It has impurities of about 67 parts per million and conductivity of about 136 micro siemens per centimeter. The scale is now showing the conductivity as 138 micro siemens per centimeter. Thus the water we get as the condensate in the AGMB process is well within the purity level requirement of drinking water 